Hello, my dear friends. In the last session, we have seen the resolving power of gratings. Now, in this session, we will focus on determination of wavelength of light. How we can measure the wavelength of light by using a diffraction, or we can say grating. See, basically, we use a diffraction grating in laboratories for obtaining the wavelength of given incident light now we'll see how we can do that so here first of all just take a look on the arrangement of the experiment so first of all here there is a small device which is called as a collimator so this is collimator i'll tell you the use of this collimator it is a part of spectrometer so this is collimator first of all i'll draw the diagram the ultra one array of light like this which will incident on grating you are suppose this is grating like this and then there are like this there are the lines on the grating like this now here see this one this is collimator so basically collimator is a part of spectrometer so collimator is a part of what spectrometer basically spectrometer is a device or it is a instrument which we used in this such a type of experiments here collimator is a part of spectrometer which is used to diverge the light this collimator is used to diverge the light or to narrow the beam of the light so now basically what we do is what first of all this spectrometer it is adjusted so that or the light will be in the form of parallel arrays then see this one this grating grating is placed on the prism table and then it is adjusted so that these lights will be normal to the grating it will be what it will be normal to the grating so here i'll write this one as grating and then to observe the diffraction pattern here no doubt the straight line normal to the grating it will give us the central maxima so this one this line will give you the central maxima now see to observe these bands or diffraction pattern we use a telescope so here that is a telescope like this suppose so this one is the telescope and here this direction is for central maxima so by using telescope we can observe the diffraction pattern we can set this telescope like this here we'll get or we will able to see this central maxima band then on either side or on both the sides of this central maxima there will be first order second order maxima and then minima will be in between this is suppose suppose this is first order first order bands over here like this one again to observe them we will simply move this telescope so here this will be first order here this is also first order and the angle between these first order spectra let that angle be see this one suppose this angle is theta 1 ultimately the whole angle will be twice theta 1 so this is the angle between first order spectra in the same way we can draw second order see this one this one will be second order so suppose this is second order we can observe the diffraction pattern by using telescope easily whole angle let it be twice theta one because this part here this one suppose this angle from here to there this one is theta two then no doubt this on this side also that that, that will be theta two so whole angle will be twice theta 2 so this is what this is the experimental arrangement for or to find out the wavelength now see how we find out the wavelength and which formulas we basically use for this see first of all we find grating element now how we can do that see your grating element is here i'll write d to find the grating element we use number of lines which are given on the grating itself so here i'll write the grating element is given by see this one we use a formula to find the rating element as that will be a plus b will be equal to a reciprocal of number of lines which are marked on the rating per unit or per centimeter and this value is always written on the rating itself and that is no doubt that is by manufacturers so here this rating element a plus b is nothing but it is what it is a reciprocal of number of lines per centimeter or sometimes they mentioned it in terms of inch so here 
we can convert it as 2.54 divided by number of lines per inch as we know that 1 inch is 2.54 centimeter so either by using any of the formula we can find out this rating element a plus b and always remember this rating element is nothing but the distance between midpoints of adjacent slits always remember that concept so first of all we find out this a plus b then we can measure we can measure this angle this one angle for particular order see for first order that is twice theta 1 or for second order it is twice theta 2 so here i can write this is first one second we can measure this angle theta so here this theta is nothing but it is angle of diffraction so that is theta of any order is measured. So now we have two values. The first one is this angle of diffraction theta and the second one this is a plus b. So now when we have these two values then we, we can easily find out the wavelength by using which formula. Here I will write the formula we have. The formula is a plus b into sine theta is equal to m lambda. We all know this formula. So here we can find out or we already have this value a plus b over here. So we can substitute it. We know the value of theta that is the diffraction angle and this m is ordered. And again no doubt we will measure this angle of diffraction for particular order. So that order number will be here and then we can easily we can find out the value of what lambda so here i can write lambda is measured or calculated we can say not measured or we found lambda by making calculations so here lambda is calculated by putting the values of values of what values of rating element that is a plus b then m that is order and diffraction angle. so we also have uh, numericals also on this particular topic so again at that time also we'll see how we find the wavelength lambda so this is what this is the one of the application of diffraction that is by using diffraction rating we can determine the wavelength of given incident light so my dear friends i hope you understood everything on this this is quite simple and just just remember all these formulas because we are going to use all these formulas into the numericals also. So in next session or from next session onwards, we will solve the number of problems on each topic. So just remind all the formulas, all the concepts so that will be become easier for you guys to understand the concept and to solve the numericals. Thank you so much.